Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to publish flow logs to CloudWatch in AWS. Let's start by navigating to the EC2 dashboard, then click on security groups. Hit the create button, then give your security group a name and a description. In the inbound rules section, I'm going to create two rules, one for SSH from anywhere, and the other for HTTP traffic from anywhere, then hit create. Next, click on instances, then hit the launch instances button. Give your instance a name, select an AMI and a key pair. In the network settings, select the security group that we just created, then scroll down to the user data section. Here, I'm going to copy paste a startup script that brings up the HTTPD web server. It also grabs the availability zone and subnet ID metadata and saves it into index.html file. Hit the launch instance button, then click on refresh and you should see a new instance in pending state. Navigate to the networking tab, then click on the network interface attached to this instance. With the network interface selected, go to the flow logs tab, then hit the create flow log button. Give your flow log a name, select a filter and the aggregation interval. For destination, I'm going to select send to CloudWatch logs, then select a log group. To create a log group, navigate to the CloudWatch service, then click on log groups in the left menu. Hit the create button, then give your log group a name. Choose a retention setting, then hit create. Go back to the flow logs window and hit the refresh button. Now you should be able to select the log group that we just created. Next, we need to create an IAM role. Navigate to the IAM service, then click on roles. Hit the create role button, then select AWS service. Since flow log is not a common use case, I'm just going to select EC2 for now, then hit next. Since there are no existing flow log policies, I'm just going to hit next and give my role a name. Hit the create role button, then go inside the role that we just created. Click on the add permissions dropdown, then select create inline policy. Go to the JSON tab, then copy paste the JSON code from this user guide. Click on the review policy button, then give your inline policy a name, then hit create. Go to the trust relationships tab, then copy paste the trust policy, then hit update. Let's go back to the create flow log window and hit the refresh button. Now you should be able to select the IAM role that we just created. I'm going to leave the log format to default, then hit the create flow log button. Let's go back to our EC2 instance and copy paste the public IP address in a web browser. This should generate HTTP web traffic on port 80. I will also try to generate some traffic on port 443, which should get rejected. This is because we did not configure an inbound rule for HTTPS in our security group. Next, let's go back to our flow log group in CloudWatch, then hit the refresh button. Give it a few minutes, then go inside the log stream. Here you should see logs for accept traffic on port 80 and reject traffic on port 443. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.